Week 10 is here. It is Thursday night football. The BetterCast game of the day preview is presented by Profit Exchange, America's first sports betting exchange. If you're in New Jersey, look to Profit Exchange. He is Mark Malus. I am Keith Irizarry. We are Moose and Keith. Panthers, Bears, a combined three wins for these two teams. Now, Moose, I have often spoken from a betting standpoint. There are angles to find even in some bad games. What's your broad stroke view of this game? Yeah, I mean, I think, listen, we all love football, but it's an ugly game. I mean, you're looking at two teams where their combined record is 3-14. and 14. Uh, I mean, that's it. Uh, you know, you've got, you know, Bryce Young, obviously the number one overall pick, who's had a pension for turning the football over, and s- stories and concerns or sur- stories swirling around Carolina, whether or not, you know, Frank Reich wanted C.J. Stroud and the owner forced them to draft Bryce Young. So you're dealing with that down in Carolina. If Young can take care of the football, um, there's no reason to believe they can't go into Chicago to win the game. And for the Bears, I mean, very similar in nature. It seems like an organization that kind of has lost its way. A lot of the rumors swirling about whether or not they believe in Justin Fields. We know he's hurt dealing with that dislocated thumb. We know Bajan, a you know, Division II quarterback, is going to be in there tonight for the Chicago Bears. They've got weapons, um, but Chicago is not a particularly good team. And Bajan's coming off a game against the New Orleans Saints, a really good defense in, in which he turned the football over left and right. Uh, you look at Carolina, only three Panthers games have gone over uh, over the, the massive totals that you've seen of a 30, what is it, 38 and a half tonight. Um, so the Panthers typically play in unders. Typically, you'll see unders in the primetime events. So uh, that will obviously be something we talk about. We talk about the injuries. DJ Chark more than likely not playing. Justin Fields, he is out. Khalil Herbert is questionable. And that is where I'd like to begin because Moose – If Herbert plays, I don't know what to think about Dante Foreman. If he doesn't play, Foreman should be in for a wonderful night. So if I give you the question of over under 28 and a half rushing yards for Foreman, which way do you lean? Yeah, I'm going to take the over. And and even if Herbert does return tonight, it's such a low number. Like, what's the workload then, you know, for Khalil Herbert for the Chicago Bears? You could still see Foreman who – you know, is a guy that we've seen flash for other organizations, a very physical runner. Uh, couldn't you see him get 30 yards rushing? It's such a sure. low number. We're not talking about 65, 70, 75 yards, anything of that nature. You know, Foreman could easily get, you know, seven, eight carries tonight and surpass 28 and a half rushing yards. So I'm going to go over on the Bears running back. Yeah, and a couple of hours prior to the game, we're sitting here and it's we're looking at whether or not Herbert will play. Tom Pelissero, NFL Network, he's reporting it's not likely that he'll play. Just throwing it out there, there is the potential of him being activated. So monitor that situation with all of your bets, whether it's here on the better his game of the day and you're you know looking to get the, the plus 10 or the or, or what on the over or the under, or if you're going to a, a betting, a sports book and checking it out. Uh, I'm going to take a look at a tight end here in Hayden Hurst. And listen, he has not been great this season, had a couple of good games early on, but he's coming off a two catch 54 yard game and a touchdown. And in games in which Bryce Young has been at quarterback, he has topped the number of 16 and a half receiving yards four of seven times, missed it by the hook once too, had 16 yards. So I'll take the over 16 and a half receiving yards, a Bears defense also that is giving up more than 50 yards per contest to tight ends this season. I like that. I mean, I I mean, listen, uh, you back it up uh, with, you know, statistically, analytically, um, why you like that pick. I I think that's a solid play. Thank you very much. I am a stat nerd, and I am very proud. No, you're good of at what you're, you're great. Like, <laughs> let's be honest, you're great at the player props, and you provide it, and you do a lot of research, and you look into it. So, it's not like you're just winging it when you're firing it out here. And I respect that. It's great. Appreciate that. Uh, join the Better Cast contest by answering pregame questions right now. Get all of our picks for the game by signing up. On demand on the BetterCast app. Download the free BetterCast app in the Apple App Store, the Google Play Stores, and you can sign up on demand as well. And a reminder that Profit Exchange is the first U.S. sports betting exchange with the best odds compared to any sports book. Uh, Here's what you get. No sweat first bet up to $100 on your first matched wager offer is open only to people that are 21 years of age. You also need to be physically present in the state of New Jersey. When you register, use the promo code BSN at ProfitBettingExchange.com or on the app as well. We all love those apps. Uh, Terms and conditions, they apply. 
If you have a gambling problem, remember, uh, call 1-800-GAMBLER.